Hi guys. I know it's been a while. Um, today I just want to mention some movies I saw recently. Some of them I found interesting. I found them um, having good messages. Um, some of them were different. You know, the perspective of the writer or the producer um, really showed that it was different from, you know, movies that I've seen over time. And like I always tell you guys, the description box below will contain two channels where I saw those movies. So in case you're interested, the first I will be mentioning is Ewure Abami. This movie was produced by Ade Diwura Gold. It was pretty interesting. How many people, how many of you actually liked the way the movie ended? Like for me, I think it was kind of different the way it ended. Remember that Adeleke and his brother were actually competing for the throne, right? And I was, at least it was kind of different that at the end of the day, none of them was actually eligible, you know, to be crowned king. So I liked the way it ended. I don't know if you did, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. The title again is Ewure Abami. So the second movie I'll be talking about is Olowo Gwagwaro. This movie is a movie with two parts. It was produced by Kenny George. I know that a number of people would have seen this movie and even on Instagram, there have been a few reviews, but I will still mention, uh, you know, one or two things about the movie. I liked the writer's perspective. I like the fact that he actually centered on a child's upbringing from a different perspective, from a different view of what we Nigerians in court are, 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 are kind of used to, you know, and there were actually very little details that I'm not sure if a, not, if a lot of people picked in this movie, but one of it was being knowledgeable, you know, for me, I felt like Eniola's mom was kind of to some extent, even though she didn't show that she was up there, but at least she had a knowledge or a little understanding of our child's condition you know which helped her in taking a stand you know even though she didn't know how to go about helping her daughter but she stood a stand by not allowing what all those teachers you know kept saying about her daughter i would have liked it or loved it better if ebon's mom actually encouraged our gift but I know that maybe that is not the direction that the story was going. But for me, I think it is always good to encourage the gifts and talents of our kids. Delivered, in my opinion, which is for God's supremacy and influence in man's life or in man's situation. Next movie that I will be mentioning is Lima. I saw this movie. I felt the characters acted well. But was it a different story? No. It was like a repeated storyline. It was a familiar storyline. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to say too much about it. But anyway, guys, I'm trying to remember the fourth movie. Okay, guys. So the next um, movie title I'll be talking about is Agomeje. Yes, I wrote it down. <laughs> the next movie is Agomeje. It was interesting. I wasn't sure if they wanted it to have some some hint of comedy um it was an it, it was not bad it was not a bad movie but i'll stop there <laughs> i think it's a real see what can i say people are desperate and i don't think it's really about the money but it's about the greed it's about coveting what does not belong to you overall i would say you never know whom to trust. Anyway, guys, I'll be stopping here. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. COVID-19 has finally said we should all stay home. But I cannot promise if you keep seeing my face, but I'll try as much as possible to always upload my short reviews or my list of movies that I'm seeing throughout the week. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, like I said, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification sign as well. Drop your comments for me below if there's a particular movie you would want me to see or you want me to talk about. Till next time, stay blessed and remember, God loves you. Bye!